Washington for the show is packing it in. Today was the final performance for the hit. 157,000 people saw Rent during its run here in the Twin Cities, but that doesn't mean that 150,000 people didn't see it twice or three times, many more sometimes. And WCCO's Garvin Snell joins us now live from the Ordway to explain. Garvin? Jim, this is probably the first time in about two and a half months that there is actually nobody camped out in front of the Ordway Theater. During the show's entire run, they would hold for sale the first two rows of seats until two hours before showtime. Now to get them, people had to come here hours, sometimes days in advance. And as it turns out, it was often the same people, over and over and over again. It's a stage door love fest for the last time. The cast of Rent says goodbye to their most loyal fans. I've seen the show 15 times. I've seen the show 14 times. I've seen the show 13 times. Among all these diehards, someone stands out. Time after time, performers make a beeline for one 15-year-old girl. We're going to remember people like Christina. Yeah, with the nice hugs and the tears. And, well, I mean, you know, I saw her a while look forward to seeing her, so she cries, but no, she's just uh, she's a very sweet, sincere, honest, special person. Christina Olsen of Sunrise just saw Rent for the 15th time. She practically lived outside the Ordway this summer, repeatedly waiting in line for rush tickets including Sunday's finale. So waited a week and a half. She's seen the cast from the front row, by the stage door, and in downtown St. Paul. So many times, in fact, they become friends. I found some characters to be like, like actual people. You know, they had characters on Facebook, like characters in life. They didn't even watch me, they really did. I gave them all thank you cards because they're inspiring me and for everything. Inspiring her to make a change when she returns to her normal life back in school. Volleyball practice starts tomorrow and I'm not going to be there. I'm going to go audition for a musical. They're still striking the stage right now inside the Ordway Music Theater. Just around the corner from us here, there are six tractor trailers ready to take the entire set to Washington, D.C. And Jim, believe it or not, they plan to open previews on Wednesday, the official opening for Friday. It's a quick turnaround, but Garvin, did you get to see the show? I unfortunately did not get to see the show, but uh, I felt like being out there with the kids today, I shared something, some part of it. Kind of like the Rocky Horror Picture Show, it sounds like people going back and back. There were some rent groupies out here. All right, Garvin, thanks very much.